Okay, how's it going everybody? This is Prelia AI and today we're going to be talking about this brand new video AI generator which came out today that everybody's talking about called Dream Machine by Luma Labs and this has been contrasted in terms of quality to Kling to Sora and the one that's Google working on right now but out of those four this is the only one that you can actually try out now for free. And let's kind of go into does it actually live up to the hype and here we have very impressive video clips which have been supposedly generated through the dream machine AI. Now obviously when we are looking into these videos on the main page they tend to always feature out the very best ones. So when you actually start prompting out well the end result might be something be more different but before we go into the actual app and show the stuff i'm going to be talking about a couple of the things here so first of all like they talk about new freedoms of imagination ai model that makes high quality realistic videos fast from text and images so you're going to put image and text prompts whatever you desire to do so and obviously it is actually true that the videos are being generated pretty fast and the quality on them seemingly seems to be a lot higher than for example compared to pika which we did feature a couple of days ago on the channel so that is definitely true and obviously because there's a lot of people using right now the ai there is a bit of a delay here in terms of the generation speed but when it comes to like video generation specifically in my opinion I would rather wait for five minutes for a higher quality video than have something average done in 120 seconds. So I think that's kind of like I would prefer quality over quantity. But some of these clips here are very impressive and it's also able to do in different dimensions, at least from the reference images. So that's actually pretty nice. This is also like very bare bones early version, guys. So it's not able to do, well, here's kind of limitations. They talk about very transparently that morphing, movement, text, and I don't know what the genus is supposed to be. Those are the things that it's kind of struggling with right now. And obviously there's not really a lot of like filters and customizations that it can do. But I guess here they are showing out some later versions or currently in progress version of a thing that they are doing, or these might be like filters or something. At least here we have four different styles for one image. But enough about blabbing. Let's actually go into the actual application now. So here is my actual thing. And here they show that 120 seconds due to high demand. So I guess on non-rush hours, it's gonna be taking out a lot longer. Now these five images or six videos that are generating right now have been in there for an hour or something. So clearly there's a lot of congestion going on right now. So when you're gonna be generating, if you're gonna be starting out today, expect waiting for quite some time. So let's kind of look into some of the early things that I was basically trying to do. So first I, I basically put out a prompt on perplexity and about something like anime fight or scene. And this is basically what came out. Now in terms of like, there's a lot of disfigurement and the colors are kind of all over the place. But in terms of the movements, like you can see something clearly like being a resemblance of an anime scene here so it's actually like in terms of like yes this is very messy and very low quality but there are some like elements that i clearly see here that it's kind of like trying to do something close to what i was requesting um then we have the same prompt here and this is done throughout there's like an option to basically put out the enhancing this is without the enhancement this seems to be more like dialogue than an actual fighting or anything. And let's let's go back into some of the better ones that we I was able to basically prompt out. So here's a Darth Vader walking through a corridor. And this actually looks like some of the scenes. I know there's a scene in Star Wars, maybe in New Hope, where it actually is this type of movement. That it's filmed from the back and it's very accurate, accurate there. But in terms of like, he did, it didn't do the helmet right. So obviously there's a human head there. So th this is not actually that wise good. But in terms of the camera movement, this could be from an actual film and the quality is actually pretty good. This is probably the best one, but this was something that was suggested by Luma Labs as a prompt. But this is probably one of the best things. Clearly a very high quality here. Obviously you can tell it's AI generated still, but I'm pretty impressed everything by here. I mean, another horn from the cow is disappearing there. 
and some of the obviously this cow here also is getting a bit of a movement change after it goes through the filter but i mean this is you know very close to realism in my opinion obviously it's all kind of disfigured and weird and here we have like a drone footage so this is also a kind of interesting looking this could be like some type of a time lapse thing effect with you know like it's it's very messy once again but it's like i did put out the prompt fast and i think well i put one also as a slow and i think that will turn out to be better but that hasn't you know it's still in the queue and here we have unreal engine alien being slowly filmed in a rotating camera so if you use the prompt slow or slowly it's giving you a lot more consistent footage like this well this is kind of weird looking to be honest and maybe they the the model here kind of looks it doesn't necessarily even look very unreal engine but you can clearly see that this is generated but in terms of like there's not a disfigurement happening here as the camera is moving which i'm actually appreciating but fundamentally not else is really going on there maybe i could have added something in the prompt like starfall or rain or whatever and that's basically what I prompted. And then I tried a reference image. And this was something I did show my Pika video. And here it animated an actual reference image that I gave it. And I'm actually pretty impressed by the results. Yes, the hands are very disfigured. But then again, on the original image, didn't have any arms whatsoever. So you could only see the shoulders. So it's clearly working on from there. And then you have these like shirt, which has like these bone patterns and it's not able to really distinguish them on the neck it can and on the shoulders and obviously on the face once it bit zooms out the quality on the face kind of whittles down but i mean in terms of a reference image generation i don't think that's too bad actually that's not bad at all and it's obviously clearing this keeping out the same quality so what i have to say is that yeah it's very bare bones version but once again, Sora is not available, the, the Google one is not available, and we only kind of have Pika right now. So, and Pika, you know, I think it's okay, but maybe I would argue that Loom, the Dream Machine might be slightly better in terms of quality and maybe also in levels of accuracy. So, I, I think there's a lot of promise for this one as, as, as we got more versions. This is another one that I showed. This is just one single prompt Bhutan and this basically just showed out like monasteries and it's very far you know this is very low quality obviously on the faces so that's something that's really, really still a struggle in the AI especially upscaling videos and stuff like that it's like very blurry on the background obviously the monks are changing weirdly position and start walking on water but I mean in terms of otherwise you look at the the flow of the water that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good in terms of this quality. I don't know in the future, will there be some type of an upscaling solution which will enhance the existing video? And these seem to be, what, four seconds long or something, so they're a bit longer. And then there is obviously the payment. And right now, 30 generations per month for free and $30 for 120 generations. And that's actually kind of expensive. This is relatively to the price of Pika at least. But then again, it seems to be better product. I would love to know what you guys think about this. Is this the best video AI generator right now on the market or not? Leave a comment down below. But yes, right now there's a free version and obviously you have the ability to basically buy more generations. There isn't any unlimited farm here with slow speed. That's something that a lot of people want to see obviously as an option in terms of the pay plans. So maybe that's something that they could be adding in the future. A bit of a feedback to Luma Labs. And obviously, we want to have some forms of edits, the enhanced prompt, what exactly it's doing. There doesn't seem to be a lot of documentation there. And I just would like to have a bit of a power on also, what are the dimensions? Is it doing 60 to 9 or 5 to 3 or 9 to 16? So people want to have, you know, footage for their phone, etc. So that's something I would like to see. But in terms of like the base concept here, pretty great. And I'm excited to see more versions and more upgrades coming along down the line. And it will be very interesting to see whatever these video tools will move at the same speed of technology and quality 
as the image uh, improvements have gone with stable diffusion and mid journey, for example, or will it take more time? But that's pretty much what I have to say, guys. In case you want to be seeing more cool reviews of the newest AI tools and stuff, make sure to subscribe and like and hit that bell notification so you won't be missing out whenever the next video will be dropping. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you next time.